This is Alberto and we're going to talk about the P-Box 2655. So Alberto, can you tell us about uh, what we have here? Yes, it's a battery box. Uh, mounted. Everything is mounted in the battery box. The, the cell, the bubbler, the tank, all the electrical. Okay. Uh, it has a, a water pump circulate. It's got a fan on the side. Okay. And then it's got a secret breaker here. All right. Then you have uh, everything on the HHO and one box. Okay. And then you have a plug. You can plug. Uh, you have the you have to have the connection on the car. Okay. You just connect it. Okay. And then it's interchangeable. You, you put it in one car, and then you take it off in like a ten seconds, and put another car. Take like ten seconds to install another car. I see. Well, can you really can you tell us more about what's what we have inside here, and let's talk about uh, this portable unit. Where do you actually install this? Uh, normally, we install in the in the trunk, uh, on the bed, on the on the on the trucks, okay. or uh, RVs on the compartment down. You know the the cabin, uh, and um, it's too big to install in the engine compartment. I see. But um, so you're saying this unit goes inside the trunk of the car? Yes. I see. So wh what what do we have here? What is this? This is a solenoid. We, okay. We don't use a relay. We use a solenoid. So this a solenoid. We don't use a relay. No. Okay. The, in, the the electricity goes here from the ignition switch. Okay. And and then uh, the solenoid uh, give the power to the cell and the pump and okay. the fan and it start working. So what else do we have? What is this? This is the break uh, secret breaker. Okay. Uh, you don't use a fuse. Use a breaker. Okay. And then if something goes wrong or short or something, okay. and this just uh, pops off and then you have to reset it uh, manually. So this is a, like a f safety feature? Yes. So uh, then what else do we have here? We have the bubbler. Okay. It's, uh, it has a filter inside. It, uh, okay. It has water to make sure nothing gonna go through your engine, just the, you know, the, the HHO gas. Oh, okay. I see. Act like the filter. It's so and there's. The, I see that that's. Is that the filter inside? Yes. So underneath there's water. Yes. That's where and half of water. And okay. It has like a sponge to filters. Okay. Uh, and so it exits out here. This actually is the hose that goes to the intake, right? Yeah, that one goes to the intake. Yeah, it's okay. A quick connection. To there's the, a quick to connect. The car. Okay, yes. got it. And then has a, a pop off. Uh, okay. Um, rubber. It's um, like a stopper. Yeah, like a stopper. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, if it backs fire, mm -hmm. it just pops this off, and that's it. I see. Uh, on, on the lid, it has a hole. Okay. And then, then the space will pop off. I see. If uh, something happened, uh, like uh, backfire or something. Okay. Well, uh, what else do we have? I see some. The, uh, I have the tank here. Okay. You know, they take the water with the potassium hydroxide. Oh, so this is where the electrolyte is. The electrolyte is here. Yes. Okay. And then here's a pump. I see, I see. It, it circulates so it, uh, the, from the tank to the cell. The cell okay. go back to the tank and the gas mm -hmm. uh, come from here, go to the bubbler. Okay. And then the bubbler, you know, goes to the car. I the see. Gas. And uh, what else do we, I see something here down here. We have uh, the fan. Okay. The, in, the intake from the fan. I see. The air pass through, comes and to the cell and, and, and exit here. I see. So it's just uh, letting uh, the, the air, the, air the hot air go out. I see. So it's 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 positioned to where right next to the generator itself. So let's talk about the generator. Generator is uh, 26 plates. 26 plate. It's uh, five plates per uh, between the positive and the negative. Uh, okay. Five neutrals. Okay. And then it's got a, it's got two cells, 13 plates each cell. Okay, they, so they it's divided. Separate. They're separated. Yes. I see, and so and then you have five neutral per uh, uh, per plate per uh, uh, per between the pl uh, the negative and the positive. Okay, so per I cell. see. So why do you have that kind of design? Uh, what makes it different from what we see out there? Because uh, if you have two cells, uh, you you run like uh, thirty amps. Okay. Each cell is gonna run like fifteen amps each cell. 
I see. And then you don't stress much amperage on the each cell, just I 13 see. amps. And this why it runs really cool. Okay. And then it has the fan. If you put in closer to the um, the trunk on the mm -hmm. car, is no problem. Is you can drive for hours for or a day and never overheats. So uh, how much amps does it draw for this unit? This unit right now mm -hmm. on the test car you're using, mm -hmm. we we drive about uh, 19 to 20 amps. Uh, I see. And then you don't need more than that. The car uh, with test car, okay. uh, this car does like about uh, 50 miles per gallon. The test car? The test car does, does 50 miles per gallon I see. on the highway uh -huh. um, with uh, about 19 to 20 amps. I see. Uh, and over time you're driving, uh, let's say four or five hours, just increase like two amps only the the, uh, the amperage uh, because it's, uh, it's enclosure and get a little heated up. I see. But never pass more than 130 degrees. I see. So then this unit, do you need a PWM with this much? You're not really drawing more than 30 amps. So No, I don't need the, the PWM. No. So you don't use you a don't PWM need, in no, your setup? No, I don't use any electronics. Just the only electronic use that is the map sensor enhancer on the car. I see. And that's it. And this is this co connected directly to the, the power on the battery, mm -hmm. uh, positive and negative, mm -hmm. plus the ignition switch. I see. Just to turn it on. Well, you know what? I'm really excited about this product. It's This is the P-Box 2655. It's a 26-plate. And you said that there's five uh, neutrals in between each uh, uh, positive or negative plate, and then it's a it's actually a two cells uh, together, right? Yes, a two thirteen plate cells. Two thirteen separate, pl complete separate. Separate plates that are uh, kind of installed together. Yes, I see. So you know what? I'm excited to see this in the car. Do you mind if we plug this in in your sure. test car and no show problem. our viewers? Uh, the holes come from the the trunk. Okay. Okay. And, and then go to the uh, air box. Okay. It's a uh, little connection here on the air box. Okay. And go to the boot to the intake manifold. I see. It's very simple. Nothing to see here. It's just the holes. Just the holes. The intake. All right. And then also we have here the uh, the positive goes to the to the, the back okay. to um, to connect to the cell. Okay. And then the negative is connected to the, the chest. I see. So here. All the holes and then the battery uh, and uh, connection just tends to get routed inside the car. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yes. Well, show us now. The car, is, the car is running. Car is running. Okay. The cell is not running because it's disconnected. Okay? okay. When I connect the cell. So we're in the trunk now. We're, we're okay. When they connect the cell, I see. the machine starts working. And then the, it's, ah. the water circulates. I see. From here. So the bottom of the cell okay. and come from the top, hydrogen and oxygen, okay. goes back to the tank and then the gas is collected, goes down to the, the, the bubbler okay. and the bubbler, as you can, I don't know if you can see it bubbling, uh, the hydrogen and oxygen coming out. I see. So it's actually coming out here? Yes. And then when I connect it here, okay. it goes to my intake manifold. This is why it's portable. It's really easy to, to disconnect and connect it. I see. I okay. see. I got it. I'll show you. Mm. So, I, you know, I, I the, the unit is really quiet. Quiet, Considering really quiet. Considering that there's a pump there. Yes. You can't even tell. No. It's, it's, you cannot hear the, the noise inside the car. I see. If I disconnect it from the intake and okay. connect it from the, to the, this little holes here, okay. you can see the production. Ah, it's, I uh, see. A lot of production. So we're producing uh, HHO from yeah. this unit. And Perfect. High explosive, you can see. Wow. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. We have this uh, P Box 2655 installed in the test car. Uh, it's a Saturn, 1998 Saturn. 1998 Saturn OBD2. Okay, 1997 Saturn OBD2. This is a five, uh, five, five, five speed stick shift, right? Yeah, it's stick shift. And the only thing you have here is the uh, the P box, the HHO generator, and of course you have a map map sensor enhancer. I have a, that's a map all. sensor enhancer. Yeah, I see. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right. Well, folks, there you have it again. We got the P box 2655. This is Alfred from HHO Watchdog.